Does this have a, a name of this town? Where this, this place we call Oibelo. Yeah, Oibelo is the center of the uh, traditional music, Sasando. That's what it's called, Sasando. Just, you know, they're modern now. They've got the speakers, yeah. the amps, the soundboard. Before they more than 30 strings. 50? Yeah. And before there were only four strings? Only 12. 12. It began with the Rotanese people. The hat is a traditional hat from Roti Island. He is the king of strings. I asked if he could just play one without the amps to see the difference. Amazing Grace. Totally different sound. The father. Uh, the master. Master. Papa. They make a different one. That's the tune of strings. So this one has about what, six or eight strings? Eight strings. This song actually uh, the man sings in the traditional uh, local language of Roti, but the meaning means wherever you go, wherever you go, the God always with us. The head, the highest one, it yes. means they always remember to the God whenever they go, whenever they do. The leaves are from the same palm tree. But the outside, the basic, can be yeah. made very quickly. I have a feeling I'm going to run out of battery time today. gathers it all together at the top there. Isn't that something? This is how you make your own musical instrument. Get some leaves and you start cutting away. The local culture I'd be interested in knowing what they, ad they adapted from the Portuguese when the Portuguese came here. They can carry on this container. They originally used these containers to carry palm juice from the trees. But who was the brilliant person who first thought of making music with one of them? But for making the music, 
Miguel. Yeah. His son is playing Leaving on a Jet Plane. Yeah. Where they want it to go. And there we have. There we have one. That is amazing. But what did they use for strings? Before they use a kind of uh, root from made from the sagu palm. He's playing What a Wonderful World, and that is so true. I cannot encourage you enough to travel.